And the reason I wanted to bring this up today, and I think Danny is relating, is because I was at Walmart the other day in Dixon, and I was doing my grocery cart down the thing, and I saw this woman look at me, and she was like giving me the eye like, I know you, but I don't want to say anything. But I was like, and then she walked over, you know, I was looking at the cans of tomatoes, and she's like, you're Pearl, right? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, oh, I'm so embarrassed for you to look at my grocery cart. I'm like, oh, I don't. I don't, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to judge you. That's what you told her out, out loud. <laughs> no. And she's like, oh, I did Trim Healthy for so many years. And, you know, we had a move and I got off. And then she's like, oh, and I just need to beat this addiction to sugar. It's just, oh, it's just really strong. And I'm going to come back. I'm going to come back to Trim Healthy because I felt so good. And I'm like, you know, and I was like encouraging to her. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. But I walked away and I was like, it's really strong. This addiction. Because it's everywhere. It's yeah. what people are faced with, Serene. They don't yeah. live out in pure farmland on a hilltop like even and grow vegetables sugar, like you with your own goats. You have to get in my car and drive alone. To, yeah, to go it's get not, that it's sugar, not in your yeah. house. Yeah. I'm across the street from 24 hour yeah. situations. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, you, it's not in your home. Yeah, but you know, there are other things in my life yeah. that I need to So I, I feel this. You're you bad know. too. Yeah, no, I, yeah. no, I'm just saying, I. It's good. So today I want to discuss it all and you and you can bring your thoughts too. But